go and check the prices and um, yeah prices are just plum crazy anymore and uh, I come in you know once or twice a week just to check out the prices and see how the shelves are looking um, you know if you enjoy that kind of content make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel today but they are a dollar a pack for the buns and remember they were like 88 cents but they do have buns so that's great but still no peanut butter or not much peanut butter I should say on the shelves uh, I'm not seeing anything but Peter Pan at 524 and here we do have some no salt creamy natural uh, for 364 over here, if you look at the tomato sauce, tomato sauce seemed for to, how about tomato ketchup? I uh, was looking a little bare on the shelf as well. And uh, we're paying four twenty eight for Heinz now, eleven point three cents an ounce. Uh, so yeah, it seems like the Spartan brand is what I'm not seeing today. We do have some white vinegar for a dollar ninety eight. Uh, but, you know, they are pushing him toward the front to make it look like we have more in the shell. Uh, which seems to be a thing that they're doing. Over here, we can get the mayo, uh, great value, two eighty. dollars Boy, has the price of mayo gone up. Apparently, they're saying, now we're going to have a shortage on mustard. So, if you need mustard, you, want, you might want to get your mustard now. We have these for a dollar, five cents per ounce. Um, but yeah, not a hill lot of mustard on the shelf. So go ahead and put his mustard away. Over here for the coffee, uh, you can get some Maxwell House 786. Uh, or you can get the classic Great Value brand for $8.98. And come down here, check out my brand, which is Folgers. Um, that is 1024 or for the big one now 1024 or no 1024 for I call it the medium size that is actually one pound nine ounces but the tall boy right here that is 1392 but when you get your coffee if you have like creamer in it make sure you grab your creamer when you grab your coffee <laughs> um, so you have them both uh, right here you can get the instant coffees if you like instant coffee down here these are handy little packets to have on hand as well a little single use instant coffee for a dollar not too bad you get seven of them or taste your choice for a dollar forty and make sure you know that you add like your tuna fish to your pepper pantry um, you can get, you know, like the four pack there, two ninety eight, which isn't a too bad of a deal actually, or the single ones for seventy eight cents. But if you can try to get the ones in water because they do last longer, you can get the uh, Creation packs for a dollar thirty seven, uh, pink salmon a dollar forty two. But those are all great things to add to your pantry. And of course, y'all know, you know. Um, these here, the diced hams, $1.32, that's 26.4 cents an ounce, or you can get the chicken down here, three twenty-three dollars for a can, that's 25.9 cents an ounce, or if you want to go big or go home, get the four pack for $9.98, which, you know, is, now is a great time to be adding that sort of stuff, your canned meat, you know, your roast beef, your beef, uh, even if you don't have cheese on to find a different brand or your spam 358 or you can get the lunch and loaf uh, which is spam copycat for a dollar ninety eight but you know anything that you can make a meal out of you know uh, corned beef hash uh, here we have the Vienna sausages for 377 you know even if you get you some sandwich bowl 
that can be added. I, I don't care for manwich a whole lot. I like my own better. But, you know, you can add that um, to different foods to flavor it up, you know. And uh, so even if you had to use it for that, and not sloppy joes. And, uh, you know, stuff like your uh, chili, canned chili is a great thing to add. Because those beans are already cooked. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to cook them. Uh, I mean, it's good to have you know, the dry beans on stock, but if you have no way of cooking them, you know, they do take a while to cook. It's a good idea to have, you know, like some of the canned chili on hand, or canned beans, and those right there, the Brooks, a dollar, 6.5 cents an ounce. We're over here at the great value for 78 cents a can. You know, those are all great things to add to your pantry for sure. Black beans, you know, lots of beans. I wouldn't be a true pepper if I didn't tell you, you know, stock up on the rice. <laughs> uh, rice is something that we all need to be keep adding to our pantry for sure. Right there, a dollar forty-six two-pound bag. That's not a bad deal. Or seventy-six cents. One thing you can get for under a dollar is a pound of rice still at Walmart anyway. Um, you know, or over here to your beans, you can get lima beans for a dollar eighty-eight a pound. Uh, several different kinds of beans, black beans, split peas, um, great northern beans right here, you know, our pinto beans, uh, beans are a great thing to add. There's a big bag there, 20 pounds for 14.46, you know, uh, or uh, over here to the rice, you know, the boil a bag or instant rice, those are great things to have as well. These nor, uh, Instant size pasta sides have definitely got a price a dollar thirty two for a pack, but they are still a great thing to add to your pantry because uh, they cook up fast and you know most of the time all you have to add to those is like water. So you know I definitely suggest uh, thirty point seven cents an ounce. But a great thing to add for sure. You can get those normally in noodles or in the rice. Uh, so a great thing to add for sure and tomato sauces uh, are also a great thing to add in your canned tomatoes uh, diced tomatoes 72 cents uh, tomato sauce 72 cents uh, so tomatoes tomato sauce you know like I say anything to make something that you're cooking taste a little bit better um, I'm gonna head down this way we're gonna check out the noodles uh, See how the noodles are looking today. The Mueller's is pretty well set. Uh, we have the Walmart brand, 92 cents now for the Walmart brand. And they do have more than they have in the past for sure. Get your rotini, but those have definitely gone up in price. Spaghetti, 92 cents as well. So make sure you have plenty of pasta on hand. Soups are looking pretty good today. Um, we have quite a few soups on hand. Uh, <laughs> the price has definitely gone up on your soups. So, you know, if you find a good deal on it, especially your cream chickens, cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, cream of celery. Uh, great things to have on hand, along with your broth. Uh, you know, flavor, adding flavor to what we're cooking is what. This is going to be the name of the game, so make sure you have add your bouillons as well. Another thing that is definitely going up in price, Crisco at 822, and even the shortening great value has gone up. Uh, even if you have to buy large, you know, add some sort of uh, oil to your pepper pantry. Look at these right here. Look at that right there is bare, and all these are pushed forward make it look like we have more than what we do. I uh, check that the stores try to pull off on us, but us that know what's going on, we know that they've just pushed them to the front of the shelf to make it look like they have more than what they actually have. But the Crisco Pure, <laughs> $5.97 for that. That's really crazy. The price of everything going up so high. Flour is looking really good today. Uh, $2.12 for five pounds of flour. Uh, make sure you grab, you know, your 
uh, baking sodas, baking powders, your yeast, you know, all that good stuff that we need for baking. Um, and definitely stock up on your flowers because from what I hear, uh, flour is going to be a commodity that may be hard to get down the road. The sugar today is looking pretty bare. Nothing down there and nothing up here. We do have two five pound bags up there and that right there. And the price is $5.94 for 10 pounds. And it looks like down here, they have it upside down, but it's $2.33 for four pounds of the sugar. I wanna fix that so bad. If I could get it out of there, I would. Looks like the salt may be a little bit low on supply. Finger again, sorry. 54 cents for the salt, but, you know, and your spices and your salt and your pepper uh, flavor is the game. You know, uh, want to make sure that everyone has, you know, enough of their seasonings and flavorings, you know, to make, we have to start cooking from our pantry food, you know, we want it to taste good. Cereals are looking pretty good, but by the price of cereal, uh, $4.78 for some Lucky Charms, uh, $4.28 for Frosted Mini Wheats, um, let me know in the comments, you guys all like uh, the kids cereal or do you like the grown up cereal that we like to call it like uh, apple cinnamon very berry um, regular honey nut cereals 348 or you can come over here great value a dollar 34 which is 11 cents an ounce compared to 32 cents an ounce so we gotta watch you know uh, the price in ounces because you know uh, we're basically buying the same stuff uh, I do like, you know, the name brand better than the Great Value, but you know, save money and definitely been buying the Great Value. We have 234. We have one box of raisin brand. If you want extra raisins, it's 298. Oatmeal is now 3.98 for the big uh, Great Value oatmeal. Um, Dollar 76 for the small ones. So definitely, the price of oatmeal has gone up. Definitely, definitely gone up. Well, pet, a great thing to keep on your pantry shelf. Water is looking pretty stock up today. But it's gone up 3.48 now. Uh, oh, I want my finger again. Um, yeah, I do have some of the empty jugs uh, of the distilled water up there. But you can get the... Uh, bigger pack, 40 of them, or the 24 pack, so we do have plenty of water. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Did I, did I get you in the eye? Oh, <laughs> uh, 972 for the 60 count of eggs. Thank God those have gone down. I paid almost $14 for them, and, uh, but... It is looking pretty good on the eggs, and the price has gone down, down a little bit. 202 for the right there for a dozen. Milk is uh, looking pretty good today. 364, I think the price is about the same as what it was, and uh, same price for the 2% or 1%, so not looking too bad. A couple empty gaps, but uh, not too bad. Over here to the butter, um, Orlando Lakes, 528. For one pound of butter, wow, and 7.48, you can get uh, the 4.62 back there, or 3.98 right here, you can get uh, one pound of butter. Um, butter is so expensive, but I love real butter, I love it, it's so good. Cream cheese looking pretty good, uh, the price of it, 2.88, for that one, $1.48 for the singles, so, but we do have cream cheese finally. Biscuits are looking pretty good. Dollar fifty-two for the great value. Two sixty-eight. So I, I have a feeling I'm going to be making more of my own biscuits uh, in the near future. Over here, a dollar ninety-six for the sour cream. Those used to be a dollar a year from now, a year ago. So definitely, it has gone up. But looking pretty good on the cream cheese and the cottage cheese. But. Buck cheese are great that you can put in your freezer. Uh, the price of them seems to be going up higher and higher. So if you can get a good deal on cheese, stick it in your freezer, get it now. 
uh, save you a little bit of money down the road. Uh, sharp cheddar, $2. That's only 8 ounces of cheese. Not a whole lot of cheese there for your money. Okay, here we have bar. Yeah. It is. Okay. We have a ball, ballpark for four twenty-two. That's pretty expensive for hot dogs, isn't it? Or the two bags, right there for seven fifty-six. Totally crazy. Lunch meals is just. I mean, the the prices of it plum crazy. Uh, seven fifty nine forty-seven. Just totally gone out the roof on uh, lunch and meats. You know, if you have to buy lunches for. Uh, your husband, you know, you're gonna feel the crunch of it for sure. Um, over here is 286 for Oscar Mayer. It's just really getting out there, like I said, plum crazy on the price of everything. 276 for those right there, those were 250. I remember I used to buy quite a, quite a few of them uh, in the bacon. Uh, the bacon is just unreal. 434 and that's for the cheapest bag guys you know if you want better bacon you're gonna pay a better price or not a better price for sure uh, a lot more money for it chicken is looking pretty good uh, except for the price price of chicken we have the chicken thighs 1396 for that 286 pound it looks like down here chicken breast 1439 324 pound and if you look down here in the 908 908 for the chicken leg quarters I used to get those for like $3.99 totally gone up in price right here we have some uh, thin pork chops $13.28 for them our pork isn't looking too bad we do have a yellow sticker there $5.34 um, I mean you can tell there's not as much as normal but we do seem to have a pretty good amount of uh, pork and brats. So brats have definitely gone up. 587 now for brats. Definitely gone up for brats. Another yellow sticker gives a 1049. Uh, Chuck Butler's. Sorry about the finger. 547 a pound. 1247. So I am not going to be buying a roast or a steak or anything for quite a while. Not on these prices. I just can't afford it. It's 16 for that one. Uh, burger is even expensive. Uh, 34.92 for that big roll. 19.44 for five pounds. That's 10 pounds for 34.92. You know, 17.92 for five pounds. Definitely, the prices of burger has gone up. Ridiculous, hasn't it? So. I always try to find the cheapest deals and the yellow stickers. And there's not a whole lot of yellow stickers. I think other people are catching on and buying them also. There is some yellow stickers over here on uh, tuna, 507 for that. But that's just a little tiny pack of the fish, you know. Not very much you're getting for your money, for sure. Salmon there, Atlantic salmon, 16.88. Anyway guys, I'm going to head out of here, uh, bananas 58 cents a pound, we have some onions 338, uh, 5 pounds of potatoes 288, come over here you get uh, 5 pounds of recipe 537, a bag 748 for uh, the large baking jumbo, that's pretty expensive isn't it, uh, uh, I'll head around the corner, I'm going to get past these people real quick. Right here we have some looks like oranges, 93 cents each. That's pretty expensive. It's just everything so expensive. The dollar sixty-eight you can get a pineapple. Over here they've got some plums or ninety-eight. I'm gonna uh, shut my camera off right here because prices are just Plum ridiculous, guys. Plum ridiculous. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, I'm going to uh, leave right here at the plums. <laughs> Tree ripened plums, $4.98. But anyway, prices are just plum crazy. And uh, we're all looking for sales and deals. Keep on uh, 
keep it on, keep on prepping, keep on praying, and uh, to live, God bless, till the next video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Till next time guys, see you in the next video.